I got a new makeup tutorial for y'all, which is what I have on now. You already see, you see that glow. Out here slaying, serving faces. So yeah, I got a new tutorial. If you wanna figure out how to get this look, you already know what to do. You better keep watching. How else you gonna learn how to do this? You heard? So the first thing I'm gonna use is the number seven quick thinking wipes. I typically like these wipes better than the Neutrogena wipes because the Neutrogena wipes tend to burn my eyes and I feel like it doesn't remove as much product. So what I'm doing with this now is just removing any excess product off my skin from when I washed my face earlier and just removing that so I wouldn't have any residue left over. So the next thing I'm going to use is the Ole Henriksen Hydrating Oil Control Moisturizer. This is just going to help reduce the appearances of my pores and to also make the wear of my foundation last longer. Since I'm going for a more dewy look, I'm just going to use the Estee Edit High Beam Primer. So this is basically a hydrating primer but it also adds a glow to the skin. And as you can see, it's just giving me like that golden glow. And I just wanna focus this product more in the center of the face rather than doing all over. Now I'm just taking a flat brush with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I'm just gonna take this concealer and just clean up under my brows. I typically like to do that right after i put on my primer and everything just to let that primer soak in before i put on any foundation or any uh, face products so i just want to clean up the brow and just make that sharp crisp brow look and, and when i do use my concealer to clean up my brows i like to just put concealer at the bottom of the brow underneath where i place any product to clean up I don't like to do the top of the brow because it creates that halo effect and when you take pictures it's very visible especially if you take pictures with flash a lot so I just like to fill in my brow and then just clean up at the bottom so it can have more of a natural look. So what I'm using now is the Lancome Waterproof Concealer and it's the actual color of my skin because I am doing what is called the dry down method so this helps for me to cover any hyperpigmentation on my skin or any dark spots but it's creating a clean canvas so when I place my foundation over top it's just going to be a smooth flawless look you're not going to be able to see where I have any dark spots or any now I'm using the covergirl queen collection cream foundation and I like cream foundation only because it's not as wet as regular liquid foundations now if it's a liquid foundation that i want to try or whatever i'll use it but generally i like to stick between uh covergirl cream foundation cover fx cream foundation or black opal cream foundation only because it wears better and it gives you way more coverage than your standard liquid foundation and it's not as wet on the skin so it's not gonna feel like your foundation is sliding off throughout the day so now i am using again the nars radiant creamy concealer and i'm just going to conceal under my eyes and down the center of my nose and i just like to do those two places i don't like to do too much highlighting because I want, again, a natural look. I just like for all my looks to look natural and I just want my eyes to be a little brighter but not completely different. The NARS concealer is also good for me because it's not super bright. It gives you that highlighted look but it's not more than two shades brighter than my actual skin. And I'm just gonna blend everything out with the Damp Beauty Blender.
since eyebrows is like a never ending process I'm just going back to feeling whatever was moved when I was blending out my concealer down the center of my nose and my forehead so I'm just filling it back in now I'm using the Laura Mercier setting powder this one is specifically for the eyes it's called the eye brightener and I like this one because it has a little shimmer reflectors in it so it helps to brighten the eye area even more and I'm just setting it wherever I place the concealer the NARS concealer and another thing I love about using the eye brightener powder from Laura Mercier is that you don't have to worry about flashback because it's specifically for the eyes now I'm just using the Sephora collection pressed powder with color to it so I'm just using this to set my entire face and to add just a little more coverage to my skin and it won't create a gray cast while I'm doing that and for the eyes I'm just going to use the Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm going to use a few colors from this but to start off I'm going to use that brown shade that has a little red undertone to it I'm just going to put that in my crease and I chose that Kat Von D palette just because it's all matte shades so it's not going to be too dramatic on the eye it's still going to be a little subtle but being that I am creating a blue eyeliner look underneath I don't want to go too heavy on the eyes Just applying a little NARS mascara prep for any false eyelashes that I'm about to apply. I'm just scoping out my face with this cream foundation stick from Black Opal before I apply any powder to the skin. I'm going over top of that cream contour with black radiance pressed powder I just broke it up into pieces and put it inside that container so it could just be easier for me to use and I'm just going over anywhere I place the cream contour just to blend it out and soften it as well and I'm just using this NARS dome shape brush just so it can distribute the product properly and in the right areas and not all over the face now for blush I'm just going to use this fuchsia pink blush from Inglot and I'm just going to press it onto the skin it looks really pretty on deeper skin tones and now I'm just going to go back and contour my nose a little bit just so the brows and everything can look even I feel like when you contour the nose and you bring it from the brows it just makes everything look even so now for the under eye I'm gonna use these two eyeliners one pencil that I'm gonna start off with is the NYX eyeliner and I'm just going to line the bottom of my eyes and my waterline. And then after that, I'm going to use the electric blue from Maybelline to line over top of that blue just to create a nice blue effect. And sometimes I feel like with blues, you got to mix two colors to create that perfect blue shade. So for that shimmer highlight, I am going to use this Estee Edit palette. As you can see, this is by far my favorite palette. I hit pan with one of the colors, and I'm just going to mix two of the colors together just to give me that perfect glow for my skin. I love this palette so much. This is my baby, and it always get me right when I need something and give me a nice highlight. 
And as you guys see, my highlight blends really nicely with my skin tone. That's because I'm not overdoing it with the highlight. I'm just adding it in the places to give me a nice subtle glow. But your highlight is not supposed to be a strip of highlight on your face. So for lipstick, I am going to use a Sephora Collection lipstick that I really love. This lipstick, however, does not look good by itself. Some people would be good with this, but me personally, I don't like it by itself. So I'm just going to go back in later on in the video to add a brown lip liner from NYX. And that's in the color Espresso. And with the lip liner, I'm making sure that I blend it in with the lipstick just to create not really an ombre effect, but just to make sure the lip liner is blended in. I don't want that 90s grunge bold lip liner, so I'm just going to blend it in. Now I'm going to finish this look off with my favorite lip gloss in the whole wide world. This is the Urban Decay Back Talk Lip Gloss. And I love this lip gloss because it's just like a subtle pink. It's not over the top. So now that I'm completely finished with everything, I'm just going to set my entire face with the Quarterly Setting Spray. This setting spray is really nice because it sets your makeup and it helps to refresh your skin throughout the day. Thank you for watching this video if you like what you've seen just hit a thumbs up and also turn on the notification bell and make sure you subscribe